The fact that you're watching this probably means that you or someone close to you may be experiencing symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia or BPH. BPH is a localized enlargement of the prostate gland that affects 50% of men over the age of 50 and up to 90% of men over 80. An enlarged prostate can squeeze down on the urethra and cause symptoms such as a frequent need to urinate day or night, a sudden strong urge to urinate, intermittent urination, starting and stopping, poor stream during urination, inability to completely empty your bladder, painful urination, leakage with little or no warning. In short, BPH is no fun for anyone, which is why thousands of men have turned to resume water vapor therapy, an in-office procedure that uses the thermal energy contained in just a few drops of water to treat the cause of BPH and get them back to living life. Before learning why men are opting for resume therapy, let's review the other common treatment options. Until recent years, dealing with BPH typically involved one of four options. Option one, behavioral management or watchful waiting. This means monitoring and managing your symptoms by doing things like drinking less before bedtime, going to the bathroom when you first feel the urge, and eliminating alcohol and caffeine and other bladder irritants. One downside besides the physical discomfort is that waiting now may make it harder to reduce symptoms later and may cause bladder problems. Option two, medical management or drug therapy. Drugs may help alleviate symptoms in some men. Alpha blockers such as Flomax and Rapiflow relax the muscles surrounding the prostate, sometimes reducing the obstruction enough to improve symptoms. 5-alpha reductase inhibitors such as Proscar and Avidart slow the growth of new prostatic tissue, sometimes enough to reverse the tissue growth process. BPH medications can take anywhere from two weeks up to six months to work, must be taken continuously to remain effective, can have considerable out-of-pocket costs, and can become less effective over time. Common side effects are a decline in sexual function, dizziness, and weakness, among others. Option 3. Surgery and Lasers Surgery and lasers are generally recognized as effective and permanent treatments for BPH. These procedures physically remove the enlarged tissue causing the symptoms and are highly effective, but also have higher risks of long-term side effects such as erectile dysfunction, retrograde ejaculation, and longer recovery times. Option 4. Permanent implants, which remain in the body unless they are removed. An implant procedure is typically performed as an outpatient procedure. Between four to six implants are placed to pull the enlarged tissue back from the urethra to open the urinary channel. Potential side effects include painful urination, blood in the urine or semen, pelvic pain, and urinary frequency, retention, or urgency. Resume water vapor therapy is a non-surgical treatment for BPH. Resume uses the natural energy found in steam to shrink the prostate. In just seconds, this precise technology destroys enlarged prostate tissue while minimizing any effect on surrounding tissue. Resume is a potential alternative to drug therapy, permanent implants, and surgery. It preserves sexual and urinary functions, and it's clinically proven to safely and effectively reduce BPH symptoms. Potential side effects include painful urination, blood in the urine or semen, pelvic pain, and urinary frequency retention or urgency. The procedure is performed right in your doctor's office or outpatient center. You do not need general anesthesia for the procedure and resume therapy lets you quickly return to normal activities. Talk to your doctor about resume if you're no longer comfortable with your BPH symptoms. Drug therapy isn't working for you. The side effects from drugs are impacting your quality of life. 
or you don't want to have surgery or get an implant. Your doctor will discuss your treatment with you, but here is a general idea of what to expect. Your doctor may stop anticoagulants or blood thinners a few days to a week before the procedure. Antibiotics may be prescribed for your procedure. Your doctor will discuss any pain medications to be used during the procedure. If you are scheduled for light sedation, you will need to fast before the procedure. The actual procedure takes only minutes, but plan on about two hours from the time you walk in to the time you walk out. You'll receive medication by mouth to reduce pain about an hour beforehand, or you may receive pain management directly in the prostate at the time of the procedure. Plan to have a driver for your appointment unless your doctor tells you that you can drive yourself home. Your doctor may continue oral antibiotics for three to five days. Your doctor will likely recommend a catheter for a few days to ease urination during healing. Some blood in the urine may be expected while healing. Avoid activities that may irritate your prostate. Consult your doctor for specific recommendations if you experience discomfort. Most men begin to experience symptom relief within two weeks, and maximum benefit may occur within three months. Talk to your urologist and see if resume water vapor therapy is right for you so you can resume your life.